Hello. Hi guys. Okay, so I just got the new beauty counter counter time line in and this is the first time I'm using it. I wanted to do a quick review and see how it works. So this is the new anti-aging line from Beauty Counter. It is designed to fight the signs of aging. I'm making up those specific words, but essentially it's their stronger line um, that's meant to be like a performance-based line. So the whole line includes cleansing oil. You know I love a good cleansing oil. A mineral boost hydrating essence. So this is something we're just gonna put on our hands and tap, tap, tap. It's like a toner. Um, it comes with an ultra renewal eye cream. Again, this is the whole collection. The antioxidant soft cream, you get 1.7 ounces there. The tetrapeptide supreme cream, 1.7 ounces here. I'm gonna open these in a second. And finally, the tripeptide radiance serum. You get one ounce there. Okay, so first of all, you get a lot of product in these, which I love. Let's open it up and see how the cleansing oil does on the skin with a little bit of makeup on. Ooh, I'm loving this aesthetic. Okay, so we are putting on to dry skin, right? With the cleansing oil, that's what we do. So this might be an unglamorous video, but I wanna show you how it works. So let's try. So for reference, I am wearing the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. It's like a powder foundation, a little bit of concealer, and some cream eyeshadow and mascara. So nothing too heavy duty, but let's see. Okay, again, that's a look at the bottle. You get so much product. I love this. And it's a glass container, which is great. So we're just going to pump that. Get it started. And pump right into the hand. I always use a little bit more than they suggest. You can kind of see. Doo -doo -doo. It's like just over a quarter, the size of a quarter. It smells really good. No artificial fragrances in here. Oh, guys, I'm liking this a lot. I usually use the Tatcha oil cleanser, and this has a very similar um, consistency to it. First of all, oil cleansing needs to happen because it removes your makeup so much better than um, a soapy, foamy cleanser it's not drying your skin out too much. Oil does cleanse well, but it doesn't over dry the skin. Well, guys, I'm loving this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me rinse off and see. You can see kind of like, I always very gently use my oil cleanser all over my eyelid, my eyebrows, under and across the lashes too, because it's a really gentle way to remove my makeup. And right, let's rinse. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm loving this. You can tell. There is literally not a trace of makeup left on my skin. Let me show you this. I have a white towel, so see? White. Let me show you this. Okay, well, I ran it over my neck a little bit. I did not cleanse my neck, but almost nothing there. This was the area that I wiped. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out, I love this. Okay, next up we are going to use the Mineral Boost Hydrating Essence. So, like I said, the consistency of this is like a toner, but the application is a little different. You are going to want to um, apply this with your fingers usually, your fingertips instead of a cotton ball or a cotton swipe. So this is, I should mention this at the top, um, this is, the anti-aging line has a retin natural complex. So essentially it's Beauty Counter's um, natural answer to retinol. It has Bakuchiol. I think I'm saying that right. B-A-K-U-C-H-I-O-L. It's a natural ingredient that's been shown to perform similarly to retinol. So um, they say it's a lot safer. Okay, so this is what the essence looks like. Again, a glass bottle. I'm so down with this packaging. It is sick. It has a little hole at the top and you just Shake a few drops in your hands. Boop. I'm doing like four. Let's do a little bit more. Um, and then just tap, tap, tap. Yeah, so you're supposed to use it morning and night after cleansing. Pour into hand and gently press into the face and neck with fingertips. I didn't do my cleanse my neck, so I'm not gonna do too much there. I'll just tap whatever's left. 
Um, okay, so very, very lightly scented. Again, no artificial fragrances here, which I love. And the main ingredients are, after water, glycerin, that bakuchiol, <laughs> such a funny word, and um, a rhododendronic uh, extract. So and then you have a blend of some essential oils in there too. So that's that, that is step two. Now, here's where it gets fun. You do not have to use a serum, obviously, every time you wash and cleanse. I, I'm sorry, in tone. I'm going to, though, because I want to see how this works. Okay, so this has squalene at the top of the ingredient list, too. Uh, the bakuchiol. I'm saying that right, because if not, it's very embarrassing. Okay, so this is the tripeptide radiant serum. Let's open the box. I'm going to save these boxes because they are too pretty to pitch. Take some pictures of them for a blog post. Ooh, okay, so this is the counter time. Tripeptide radiance serum. It's just a pump. Okay, so we're gonna use one, we're gonna use two, just because I'm feeling saucy. Um, ooh, that's a very smooth application. It almost has the feeling of a formula that has like, um, it's kind of a slip agent in it. Let's see the ingredient list. What would that smoothness be coming from, I wonder? I'm not sure, but it's really, really smooth on the face. Let that set. Okay, so that was step three. Next up, <clears throat> this comes with, um, again, this is the whole collection I'm talking about. If you get the whole collection, you get both the soft cream and the supreme cream. The soft cream, I'm guessing, is the lighter moisturizer and I'm going to use that tonight because it's summer and I'm in Florida. That means it is like hellaciously hot down here. So this is a similar pump bottle. This is again the antioxidant soft cream. Some of the top ingredients in here. Okay. Shea butter, um, coconut alkanes, sunflower seed oil. So it's a hydrating lotion so let's do, do let's do one pump here let's see if that's enough not a lot of scent now you may be a scent person i do not like too much scent in my skincare it tends to irritate my face and it's also just not all that good for you it's not that i don't use scented products i do here and there but i try to avoid it when possible loving this feel. Definitely a lighter cream. I only used one pump for my whole face. Again, I'm going to go back and like cleanse my neck and stuff um, later, but definitely enough for the whole face. I'm not going to be using this, but I am going to show you. This is the Tetrapeptide Supreme Cream. Oh, the weight of this jar is delicious. I love that this whole collection not only perf is so far performing well, but feels luxurious too from its packaging to its application. Okay. So this is what the super, oh my God, Supreme Cream looks like. Okay, not, not much of a scent. This, 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 this is incredible. So this is what you're going to use if you have drier skin in the cooler months, or if you have skin that just needs a little extra attention. So as you can see, I'm gonna just test out a little bit. It is very, very thick. The jar is gorgeous and heavy and beautiful. It's gonna sit on my countertop. I'm just gonna use the tiniest bit so that I can get a vibe. Um, I always try it on my forehead because I feel like I rarely break out there, she says, as she sprouts a pimple. Um, <laughs> that's nice. That is very nice. It's a rich cream for sure. And I'm curious to see how long it takes to kind of soak in. I do have that lotion on underneath, but this is a dream cream. I'm obsessed. Okay. I really like this so far, I'm not even gonna lie. And the final piece of the whole collection is the Countertime Ultra Renewal Eye Cream. So, let us open this. Again, I mean, does the packaging get any cuter? You get a half ounce here, which is a standard size for an eye cream. No scent, no detectable scent. I dig this. I also secretly wonder every time I rub something that's heavily scented under my eyes if it's like, I don't know it's, it's like doing more damage than it's good because all those chemicals in there um so i like that this is not scented 
but it is my instinct always. Isn't that weird? It's always my instinct to smell things. So anyhow, we're gonna use a little bit. Under there, really lightly, tap, tap, tap. Um, this is a richer eye cream. So this is not a gel, this is not a light, light lotion. This is definitely a cream. It's not as thick and balmy as that uh, jar of supreme cream, I think it was called, but it is definitely rich. I just realized that you can totally see in my trash can in the closet there. Okay, love it. Um, very hydrating, no irritation. I have put products on my skin before that have caused me an immediate reaction or irritation, and this is not the case. I'm loving it, I'm biting on it hard. Um, this is my first night using it, so I'm gonna update my blog post that I will um, eventually link below once it's done as to what the results look like over time. But here's what I can say. Oil cleanser, bomb. Probably uh, the star product of the line so far, but again, this is my first time trying it. Um, the creams soak in well. It's all very lightly scented, if scented at all. The only thing that I could detect a even a little bit of a hint of a smell was uh, with the oil, and that's because it has essential oils or like natural oils in it. And I, I can't really get this one. A tiny, tiny bit on the counter time um, mineral boost hydrating essence. But the packaging is insane. The products feel good. My skin feels supple and hydrated. Um, and I'm excited to see how this works over time. So here's what you need to know. No retinol, this has a retinatural complex. The star ingredient being the word that I don't even know if I'm saying right, Bacuchiol, Bacuchiol, B-A-K-U-C-H-I-O-L. It is a natural ingredient that's been proven to have similar uh, anti-aging results as a retinol, so that is promising. Um, the whole line has one, two, three, four, five, six products in it. I'll show you a picture after we're done. All in glass packaging, all tray chic, and it is definitely a line you can benefit from if you want some anti-aging and a more natural approach. There is a lot of moisture in this guy. In the, in the what's it called? The big cream. I need to know the, the supreme cream. A lot of moisture in here. This is our heavy guy. And if you like something a little lighter, then you're gonna to wanna to go with the antioxidant soft cream. Anyhow, pictures to come. We'll link the blog post below. When it's done, let's go into a little bit of natural light. The sun is going down, but you can get a little bit of a peek here. Don't judge me for my messy room. And yeah, definitely leaves like a dewy kind of glow on the skin. I love it. Um, message me if you have any questions about buying, but good stuff. So far, so good. Counter time, the bomb. Okay, guys. See you next time.